In this video clip, we're going to continue on our journey through the 130 links, and we're going to move more toward the people that are active and current. And here we are moving through the land of accomplished programmers. We are going to contact, we're going to make contact with some websites. We're going to read through a couple things, but it's going to be a very quick tour. You need to basically take note of the names. The people that are involved, I'm trying to highlight people that have websites and contribute constantly. Maybe not every week, but certainly every few months more things come from all of these people. These enrich the experience and allow you to do much more programming than you would normally be able to do. And part of the equation that you have to figure out is how to put together your project. When you state your goals, how do you get there? Many people try to use fields because they start off with fields thinking that's the container to hold text. Pay attention to how people use text. And quite often you're moving things from a field into a variable, whether it's a global variable, a local that is based on the script. We call them script locals. Or locals that are based on the handler, which are only active and available during the script execution. When the handler ends, those scripts disappear. They evaporate. So with that, let's move on. Um, here's one that uh, is hyperactive. This is Jackie. And everybody knows Jackie. And this is one. You should go take some time to look through her site. She has quite a few things on there that are valuable. And here's a newcomer to me. His name, this is called Rev Clever. And, of course, the name uh, stands out. And his idea is he's coming soon, and hopefully we can get him to, and his thinking, maybe come along and present on Saturday what he's got planned for his site. And uh, it sounds like he wants to put a lot of things together for us. Um, now, this is someone who, uh, Claire uh, Siskin, used to be quite active on the list. She's putting together some aggressive things for... Um, obviously language learning here, but she was doing other kind of things like with games and how to how to make things work in Revolution and now of course she's probably branching out into live code and might even be doing um, a puzzle that's better than Collins. That might be true. Um, now here's one and we'll skip past this one pretty quickly because we already know about this guy. But these are still worthwhile, especially his documentation which he's gone through. Um, now, here's one that I think people should pay more attention to and visit, and uh, hopefully we'll get more than one presentation out of her. Uh, this is Judy Perry's Rev in Education, and it's a blog, but there are topics that are really important to us as live code developers, and uh, it's basically live code in education. This is a different page on James Hurley's site, and this has to do with tools, utilities, games, simulations. And uh, that's, again, Turtle Graphics have mentioned here. This is a page, and I couldn't find um, a whole lot of information here, but basically these are the, the data grid topics. And data grid is kind of important for a lot of people wanting to organize information easily. And uh, Trevor DeVore programmed it, and there are certain people who have really gone through how to maximize and get the most out of that. Now, this is, this is an older one, but it's Code Mojo, Mac Instruct. Mac Instruct, Joe Wilkins, you've seen him on the list. Now, this is from 2007, but he was trying to, he's very much a hypercard advocate back in the day, and he'd like to be more active in it, but it's a little hard for him. But he has some valuable things for people who need to get started. So hopefully when I contact Joe, um, he'll, be, he'll be helpful. Joe has one problem. He has a 30-inch screen, and because of his eyesight failing, that's still too small for him to see a lot of things. So his ability to read and produce um, is very limited these days. But he has a lot of valuable content that he did over the years, and hopefully we can get him more involved in what we're doing here. Of course, good old Hugh Sr., Flexible Learning Company, he's very active and has put together some very good organizational software and one of the one of the pieces is uh, Scripter Scrapbook. He's certainly um, one to pay attention to. 
here again is just another view of, of that gentleman named William Sanke. Quartum Software, Jan Schenkel, has done quite a bit of work that's, that's good. This is, it happens to do with live code using Java, which he spoke about last week. Um, he also is very friendly, very helpful to people that just have simplest questions. And I would hope to get a little bit of what he throws away on his desktop, on his computer, to maybe land on, um, you know, what we would like to take advantage of. He also did Quartum Reports, um, PDF Writer. Let me see if I can get to his blog here. And he's doing Quartum PDF Library on Rev Demos. Now, he did Quartum, and he's also doing some on Rev Demos. For some people that need to know more about that, well, he's, he's an on Rev, um, you know, explorer. He started early and he's using OnRev so, and, and telling people how to use it. So for people that want to get, in, get more involved in that, this might be a great way to contact his offerings on his site. And here's another gentleman who's done quite a bit. And this is how to go like from PHP to live code, which many companies need to do. Um, also, he has something called FileMaker Pro Migrator. And this is, a, this is a very robust commercial version of how to move from FileMaker database over to using live code. The next person here that's active today, and this is Monty Golding, MER Golding Software. Uh, some of the early live code stuff back in Revolution early days was done by Monty. He's very, um, very easy to approach and very helpful. Now, here we have another guy, and um, it's been reported in this XL Guru. And the topic here is live code. And I don't remember exactly what this thread is, but they're talking about how they want to move from something else over to live code and their experience and their questions. So we can learn from that, and maybe they're very active and we can bring them into our group. Okay, I'm going to move a little further, a little quicker here, because these are all links that you can get to. I'm going to move down to, here's another gentleman who I think is um, very active. And this is RunRef Planet. I'm going to move to the next one where RunRef Planet has put out something just a couple weeks ago that people found very valuable. A freely available PDF that says 52 tips in 52 weeks. And I know some people downloaded and said, boy, this is great. It does give you those sort of a, a miscellaneous collection of things. Boy, now that I found it, I wish I knew this ahead of time. Why don't I tell other people? So that's a pretty cool way for people to um, move through. Now, this looks a little austere, but there's an awesome Animation Engine 4 tutorial by a guy named Oblio Beck. And he does some really good videos, and I'm going to show you those in a few minutes because I'm almost done with this part. But we also have to pay attention to, like, there's Rev Mentor, and that'll be coming up here in a moment. This is Jerry Daniels, Rev Mentor. He does a lot of stuff that's freely available as well as commercial. Um, our friend, Richmond, and Richmond has a Facebook page, and so he's easily reachable. Uh, another area here that you should pay attention to would be Daniels and Mara. Cheo Sean does quite a few things. You may have heard about live email and live SMTP. Um, high quality work and a lot of people use that. Um, let's see, I'm going to move down just a little bit more. So rather than go through every single link here, these are the things that I call the web ring um, that we can probably get together. You can see there's so many places to go here. Um, one I'm going to pop up here is Ah uh, Software. And Ah uh, Software is Mark Weeder, lives in Berkeley, and he puts together some interesting stacks that do database schema generator, for instance. And so as we get down to the last one I'm going to show you here is the Alt plugin. This is by Chip Walters and his uh, partner in crime, um, Chris Bonner. They put together some high quality plugins, and I'm sure people still use them today. So, this is another resource. 
um, I want to move on to connecting with um, There's a, something called a Programmer Stack Exchange. I would like to learn more about that because it looks like that might be something we could um, participate in. Now, here's a guy that's on Twitter named David Bobo, our friend David Bobo. Here's the Facebook for Richmond Mathewson, who lives in Bulgaria. And here's a presenter from two weeks ago. His name is Ronald Zellner. Now, he has some very interesting stuff he's done, and it looks like he wants to help out with our group, and uh, he's at Texas A&M University, and he has a quite, a quite a body of knowledge and experience with Revolution, and it's nice that he's joined our group. I would like to try and get somebody back into the group. I think he's gotten busy with his other